Welcome to Edo Language Institute and thank you for tuning in. Today's lecture is about the most fundamental part of learning any language and that is the sounds and the pronunciation of the alphabet. And by the way, before we continue, I'd like to quickly inform you about an upcoming introduction to Edo Language course which will be launching soon. So we'll see, we're currently still working on it. It will be an online course. And if you are interested in that course, please join our mailing list through the, the link that is provided in the description box below. And uh, we will keep you updated and also notify you as soon as the course is ready. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, also like and share this video. The Edo alphabet. Ama a isa edo naze. In total, there are 27 alphabets in the Edo language, and those can be broken down into 19 or 21 single consonants and seven vowels, and uh, and we have eight or ten double consonants. So why these? Um, so now I, I want to take your attention to the single consonants and the double consonants and why they are that di that is because of the two different Y sounds that are marked in green so depending on where you classify them to uh, that would that would decide the amount of single consonants we have or the amount of single and double consonants that we have so, because um, what is special about these two sounds is that orthographically, one would rather um, one would rather classify them to the single consonant because they are they are just they're single, but phonetically they are not. They they you you get to know as we as we progress uh, in this lecture you get to understand why um why they they are rather double consonants than the way they look as single consonants and uh, now our attention to the vowels we have seven vowels we have a e e e o o u and and that will be that for now we we'll move on to the next slide So here we have an overview of the Edo alphabet, which will continue on the next slide, of course. And then we have some similar sounds in English language or similar words that have the, the or some English words that have similar sounds. And we have the Edo, some examples of Edo words with that sound and their corresponding English translation. So when we start with A, we have AMA. AMA, which means sign or mark. And we have AME, which means water. And AMA was used in, uh, in this slide before this one. And, and because it means sign, and it was used to describe the alphabet. So the alphabet are also signed, technically. For B, we have bolo, which means to peel. And um, to t please take note, bolo um, does mean to peel. Balo also means to peel. But then the difference is that bolo is when you peel something with your hands with your f bare hands, your finger, for instance, uh, a tangerine or an orange or what else, banana, yes, so that is bolo, but to bolo you would need, you would need uh, a device, you would need something like a knife or a machete, machete, a machete or uh, something else, but bolo is usually something you, that you do with your hands, um, so we have de. That means to buy. For the letter E, we have, or for the letter E, now speaking in English, but the A, the A sound, we have EB, which means 
leaf, a book, or paper, depending depending on the context. For e, like the e in elephant, we have ede or ege. Ede is the word, the Edo word for day. Ege is the Edo word for time. We have fano, which is to unravel. It can also mean to open if it's if we are talking about a a parcel. And uh, we have uh, for the G sound we have go, which means to scream or to shout. For the H sound we have ehohu, which is the Edo word for air or breeze, and it can also mean wind. So depending on the context. For E we have isai. And that is a word that you have seen before, if you remember quite clearly. It was on the same slide with ama. So ama a isai donaze. So isai a key. And isai was also used to uh, to uh, describe the alphabet or to denote the the alphabet. Uh, so isai means key. And uh, another e word with e sound is igwe. That is the word for village. And now the J sound. Uh, why is this highlighted? Uh, it's because we don't particularly have words in Edo language that start with J, but we can pronounce the the, the sound because we have other alphabets that sound similarly, and you get to know those ones uh, soon. So, for instance, the Igbo name. Ojuku, that is something that every that every Edo person can pronounce, even though we don't really have the J sound in in our language, um, or we don't have the J alphabet. Can we put it that way? Um, and then we have the K, K sound. So we have Kolo, not to be mistaken with Kolo. Those are two different words. I think every Nigerian knows what kolo means. Yeah, that's to be crazy. But kolo is to pluck. So you can so you already learned the word for leaf. So you can say kol kolebe kolebe because the two the two vowels at the end sort of merge. And so we won't say koloebe but kolebe. So the 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 O at the end of color sort of um, falls off, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So it takes the, the vowel off, the vowel off uh, the next word. So that we'll say kolebi, so it's to pluck a leaf. L is la lo, to lick. We have m sound, mudia, to stand. We have the n sound. No, no, is to drip. So when we're talking about liquid, something like water. Amen, no, no. The water is dripping. And now we have a, another N sound, but it's a nasal N, like the on, on, on in answer. So uh, a very classic example for this sound is uh, the ikan. And many Nigerians also know this. This word, sometimes it has a slightly different pronunciation in other languages. I think some some ethnic group call them account uh, call this uh, cooking potash account or um what the, the the pronunciation does differ a little bit, but in Edo we say account and the un is a nasal sound that usually follows uh and an r sound so you and here again we have that so e count and um but occasionally it also uh pro proceeds no 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 it also follows uh an a, a u sound the u sound and sometimes also the a sound but you you probably will get to see some other examples uh where that is the case so once again, ikan, and then igan. Igan is the word for feather. Next we have 
Ota, like the O in Omen. Ota, which is the word for evening. And then we have Autumn. Autumn, which is the Edo word for screwing. Next slide. The P sound, as in page. We have Pien. Pien. Again, at the end there, we have the, the nasal, the slightly nasal N. So, Pien, which is the Edo word to, for to press. Now, the R sound in Edo is always silent. A single R is always silent. So, that's why I cannot find an example in English for that. So if you if you speak any other language where or if you know of any other language where the R sound is silent, please leave uh, a comment in the um just leave me a call a comment below. I'll be interested in uh learning about that language. Uh but here we have ow ow that is the Edo word for I and uh, you also I, you you've come across the, the silent r before in the word isai isai which was the word for key so the r is also treated as though it doesn't exist but it's there and the next sound is the s sound we have sa sa which is to jump and then we also have solo which is to tear, to tear something. And the tis, tis sound, we have tota, to sit, to sit down. And the u sound, as in Ubuntu, we have unu, which is mouth. A verse sound, we have ava, which is the word for afternoon. The w sound, as in water, we have ewu. A wu, the wu. So that is the word for shirt. And now the uh, first Y sound, like as in yogurt. So it's a, it's a, it's a rather uh, light Y. So we have iyobo and iyeki. Now iyobo means, literally means help or assistance. And iyeki means back. It can be your back, as in the, a part of your body, and it can also be figuratively, as in at the back of the room, uh, at the back of the house, behind something. And uh, uh, as for Iyubo, Iyubo is a very popular Edo name, beautiful Edo name, in my opinion. Um, it's unisex, so boys and girls, both males and female, I mean, can can bear that name. And usually, when someone is called Iubo, it's usually a, 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 a short form, uh, because the, the, full, the full name is Iyobosa, which means God's help, God's assistance. So Iyobosa, Osa is God in Edo language, Osa no Bo. So Yobu Sa is God's help. But Yobo itself uh, is help. And then we have the the first um uh, special Y sound which sounds like the the j, the j in garage in the French word garage. And sometimes not uh, very often though uh, it can also take the sound of like j, like the j in in Djibouti. So some uh, example Edo Edo some example of Edo words that have this sound are ij ij that means mummy and ij means mother. So <laughs> well, it's technically the same thing. It's just the tone. The tone is different. So what are you saying, mother, someone's mother, or mommy as in, hey mom, get me this. <laughs> and uh, so we have the next word, Uji. Uji is also a very uh, beautiful Edo name, or it's a name for males. And Uji means 
honor or dignity. Now the, the stronger J sound, we have the OG, which is the word for thief. OG. It can also mean a, a robber, but usually it's a, a thief. A robber is also a thief. <laughs> and now we have the 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 the, the second no the third uh, Y sound. Then um, it sounds like the ño, the ño in in the Spanish word a niño. And so uh, an Edo word for that is uh, iña 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 is the word for is the Edo word for yam. And we have enye is the other word for snake. And uh, now to the z sound, we have z, which means to choose. Z, to choose. And uh, there are many other uh, meanings of z depending on the context. Though. But for now, I'd like us to just uh, limit it to this one, z to choose. So we move on to the next slide. Now we're going to the we're going to talk about the double consonants. But first of all I just want to quickly um explain some certain things which is about the this uh, differentiation about the voiced and the voiceless um double consonants. Uh, what does voice actually mean? It's, it's simply um, when when you pronounce the the sound and your vocal cords. So your vocal cords is where your um, how do you pronounce this? Esophagus is so what they call Adam's apple. So when you put your uh, your hand there or two fingers, you put it there and you pronounce this word. For instance, b b the G B sound b. And many West African languages do have this sound, b, and you can feel the your vocal cords vibrating there. So it's a voice sound, uh, as compared to b, b and b, b and b. B is more a rather voiceless sound. Now we have v, v and m. We have v and m. We have r, r sound, the r, and you can feel how when you, you leave your hand and the, this, the, or let your hand remain on the same spot on, on your Adam's apple, or, and you have the r sound, and then you have the h sound, h, like the, the like Jose in the Spanish name, Jose. So, h, and uh, these two, uh, j and ñ, you've just uh, been introduced to that in the previous slide. So this, the last two here, the r and the r sound, um, I didn't really classify this as voice, as voiceless, um, uh, because they almost sound the same. It's just one is, uh, is, is more intense, the rolling. And rolling of the tongue is more intense than the other one. And uh, the next slide will show you some examples uh, of Edo words where these sounds um, are present. Um, so yeah, so like the b, I can't find it in any other in in, in the English words like the because it, it's more typically African uh, language languages that have this sound. And uh, so, an Edo word w w that has the sound uh, b, we, for example, we have egbe, is uh, the Edo word for body, and so that's a noun. And we have balo, which is a verb to tie. For b sound, we have ebu, ebu, which is the word for bag, and then we have a verb here, bolo, which is to sweep. And then we have bolo, which is big. That is an adjective. And you can see the the the, 
the difference and the, this the bolo sound the o's have they are the other o with the with the dots underneath them so e o bolo bolo then the r sound we have uregbe uregbe which is the word for mirror and we have rara which is the word for uh, to brag or to boast and uh, the word can be broken down um, into ure and egbe, which you just learned here up there, egbe for body. So ure is the word for look. So it's like the self-looking device or the, the thing you use to look at yourself or the, the thing you use to look at your body. So that's the etymology of the word. So uregbe. Then we have the h, h, h sound. So as I already said, like the uh, Spanish name Jose. And so we have ojia. Ojia is a noun. So it means walk, a walk or, or the work. And uh, uh, an example of a verb is hiahia. Uh, hiahia, which is to scrape. The v sound. Uh, we have, um, if you speak German, anybody that speaks German watching this, you know the V, Vasa, as in Vasa. And so, Ove, Ove is a noun, uh, is the word for sleep. So, the sleep or a sleep. <laughs> well, do you ever say that? A sleep? A nap, rather. But, yeah, you get it. <laughs> and the the it can mean what it can mean where or how so it's the uh, it's like the the w the w questions in english where you say uh what who whose and other things so but so this is the v. and um we have the m sound m, m. so we have um um is the word for sort and then we have mama is the word to arrange to arrange things now to the two um uh, uh, r sounds we have uh, the first one is the more sharper sharper uh, r as in russia russia and uh, an edo word uh, example of an edo word for that is rie rie which means to take and uh, the other sound is uh, it's it's like the R that that is in rain. So lare, lare, uh, lare means come, as in when you call somebody. For instance, lare de ma, come here. But just re on its own means to come. Just re. You can also say irene, i, i, re come ne already so I'm, I'm already here i've already arrived um we have again the je sound which you it's just it's the same examples i wanted to i wanted you to um see them also in the, the, the in the in the complete list with all the alphabets before so and you already did that so the je sound and the je sound and then the n sound so I hope you've uh, you've learned something so far. You've learned something new. That is the purpose of this of this video, and um, and um, also you can let me know in the in the in the comment section um, how you found the video, how you find found the, the lecture, and um, if there is anything very specific that you'd like me to talk about in my next lecture. And let me know, and I'll find way to, I'll find ways to incorporate that into my, um, into the lecture. So um, um, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, as I already mentioned at the beginning of the of the lecture, don't forget to join our mailing list uh, in order to receive uh, updates about uh, the upcoming online course in introduction to Edo language and um, don't forget to subscribe 
like and share this video and you can also send me an email if you have questions if you want further information or if you just want to drop me a few lines just don't hesitate to contact me and um yeah thank you once again for watching and uh Hopefully see you next time uh, in the next in the, in the next lecture and uh, have a nice day.